Hello and welcome to part one of the test one review. Um, the questions I'm going to do or give you on this are just like the ones on the test, just with different numbers. So go through this video as many times as you need to until you can get everything really easily and you'll be able to take the test quickly and accurately. The first question that you're going to have you're going to be given a large number like this, and it's going to ask you to um, say what place value any given digit is. And they're going to give you three. Make sure you put the S at the end. It does say to do that. And if you remember um, from the homework, it does count for spelling. So if it says to do the two, the six, and the ten, the two is in the hundred spot, the six is in the ten thousands, the seven is in the seven is in the ones. If it gave you nine, you would say tens. If it gave you three, you would say thousands. If you said, if they gave you zero, it would be one hundred thousands. One would be millions. Four would be ten millions. And eight would be hundred millions. So just see what it is that they give you for that. Um, for yours, I don't know which one it will be. Then you're going to do a prime factorization. So let's say that it's 56. So remember the easiest way to do these is to start with a 2 since it's the lowest prime number. 2 will go into 56 and it will go 28 times. 2 will go into 28 also and it will go 14 times. 2 will also go into 14. It will go 7 times. And so that is uh, also a prime number. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. Make sure that you use the um, times symbol when you type it in and not the just an X. So you're going to get another one, and let's say it's 77. 2 won't go into that, neither will 3, neither will 5, but 7 will. And it will go 11 times. 11 is a prime number, so the answer would be 7 times 11. Next, you're going to be given something that looks like this. 6 over 2 equals, 6 over x equals 2. And it's going to give you some choices of an English phrase of what this means. Uh, this could be um, 6 divided by x is 2. It could be the quotient of 6 and x is 2. Or the quotient of 6 and x equals 2. It could also be 6 divided by x equals 2. Um, so those are remember. Just remember that 6 comes first on it. Um, and it's going to say either equals or is. Next is going to be practicing with the order of operations. So let's say that we have 2 times, in parentheses, 8 times 5, minus 5, close the parentheses, plus 6, open the parentheses, 7 times 9, minus 27, close the parentheses. So we're going to do what's in the parentheses first. And since we have two sets, I'm going to do them at the same time. In both of them, we have multiplication, so that's what's going to be first inside. So we have a 2, 8 times 5 is 40, minus 5, and then plus 6, 7 times 9 is 63, minus 27. Now we still have parentheses, so we're going to do those first. 2, 40 minus 5 is 35, and then plus 6, 63 minus 27 is 36. Now we're going to do the two multiplications. 2 times 35 is 70, plus 6 times 36 is 216. Now when we add those, we're going to get 286. Make sure you do everything in the right order of operations, and you'll get this one right. Same with this one here. It's going to be 15 divided by 3 
plus 8 minus 4 squared. So we need to do what's in the parentheses first. We have 15 divided by 3 plus 4 squared. Now we do exponents. 15 divided by 3 plus 16. Now we do the division. 15 divided by 3 is 5 plus 16, and that equals 21. Next, you're going to have something like negative 7x plus 9y, where x is negative 7, y is negative 2. We're just going to plug these numbers in for x and y. Negative 7 times negative 7 plus 9 times negative 2. Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. 9 times negative 2 becomes minus 18. So 49 minus 18 becomes 31. You'll have another one like this. This time you have three variables. So let's say you have b squared minus 4ac and a is negative 1 b is negative 5, c is negative 2. Make sure you use your parentheses here. b is negative 5, in parentheses, squared, minus 4, times negative 1, times negative 2. Negative 5 squared is negative 5 times negative 5, which is 25. And then we have minus 4, times negative 1 times negative 2. Now, order of operations says to multiply. We can do all three of these at once if we want. So 25, we have 1, 2, 3 negatives. So our answer is going to be minus. 4 times 1 is 4, times 2 is 8. And then we're just left with 25 minus 8, which is 17. Now let's simplify an equation or an expression. Negative 10x minus 7 minus 9x plus 3. So what we're going to do here is combine like terms. So I'm going to rearrange them so that the like terms are together. Negative 10x minus 9x then minus 7 plus 3. Negative 10x minus 9x is negative 19x. Negative 7 plus 3 becomes minus 4. Now let's say we have negative absolute value of negative 58. Remember, absolute value means whatever's inside becomes positive no matter what. So we keep this negative. This negative 58 becomes positive 58. So our final answer is negative. 58. Then we're going to have one where it says negative absolute value of negative b, where b equals negative 34. So we need to stick negative 34 in for b. So negative, negative, negative 34. Close the absolute value. This becomes negative inside here, negative times negative becomes positive. So we have negative absolute value of 34, which becomes negative 34, because this stays positive, but we have the negative on the outside. Then you're going to have a word problem where it says the highest temperature was 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Lowest is 15 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. And then it's just asking you to write what the highest one is and what the lowest. So the highest is 93 
degrees Fahrenheit. Lowest, because it's 15 below zero, it's gonna be negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's what it's looking for, is that you put the negative sign in. Then another one where you're doing order of operations, but a little bit more detailed or involved. Let's say we have three, and in brackets, eight plus two, parentheses, six times eight minus 26, close the parentheses, close the bracket. So we need to do what's on the inside parentheses first, and in there we have a multiplication and a subtraction, so we do the multiplication first. Three, open the bracket, eight plus two, six times eight is 48, minus 26, close the parentheses, close the bracket. Do what's in the parentheses first, three, open parentheses, eight plus two, open the parentheses, 48 minus 26 is 22. Now we have to do the multiplication first, 2 times 22 is 44, so we're going to have 3, 8 plus 44. Now we do what's inside the bracket, 3, 8 plus 42, 44 is 52. Now we do our final multiplication, 3 times 52 is 156. Make sure you do this in the right order. Um, the biggest thing that most people miss is they'll try to do this addition before the multiplication. Make sure you do the multiplication first. Next, it's gonna say um, a word problem, and the one in the practice test has on, um, it's a football one, where it says that they start on the 28 yard line, and then they lose nine yards, gain 17, lose 12, and then where are they at um, next, at, at the end of this? So we're gonna start with 28, they're gonna lose nine, gain 17, and lose 12. So when we do this in order, we're gonna have 28, minus nine, which is 19, plus 17 minus 12, 19 plus 17 is 36, minus 12, 36 minus 12 is 24. Next type of question is going to be a division, and let's say you have zero, divided by five over nine. Zero divided by anything is zero. If this was backwards and said five over nine divided by zero, it would be undefined. You might have to type in DNE, however it says to do it. Next, you're gonna have a fraction division. So 10 over seven divided by 16 over 17. Rewrite this as a multiplication by flipping the second one and multiplying. So this becomes 10 over 7 times 17 over 16. To make it a little bit easier, we can simplify the 10 and the 16 by dividing both of them by 2. So this becomes a 5, and this becomes an 8. When we do that, 5 times 17 is 85, 7 times 8 is 56, and we won't be able to simplify this anymore, so that's as far as we'll go. Uh, the next one will be adding and subtracting fractions. So if we have negative 3 over 4 plus 5 over 12. Our least common denominator here is 12, because four will go into 12, and it will go in three times. So we have to multiply this by three over three. When we do that, we're gonna get negative nine over 12 plus five over 12. 
negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4 over 12. We can simplify this to be negative 1 over 3. So that's about the first half of the test. Come back for part 2.